Hi, Happy New Year. Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for watching all my videos. Today, not only do I want to take an opportunity to wish you a Happy New Year, I want to let you know it is going to be a really good New Year. This is going to be a great year. And if you are a Twin Flame, my videos are very specifically for Twin Flames, although I do know there's a lot of people that just watch them for information. And some of the people that watch, you're also here to become new. And the first part of what I'm going to talk about is as we're in this new year, the very first part of this new year, this is going to be a time of another retrograde. Yes, we're coming into a Mercury retrograde. I want to let you know about retrograde energy, especially for people who have ascended somewhat. These are opportunities. It goes beyond not signing a contract or your electronics going all wild or being unusable, although that can happen. There are reasons for the things that, why do they happen? Essentially, a retrograde is when things seem to go backwards or seem to go in another cycle again. But I want to let you know something. Starting from last year, in July into August and September, that was a very special retrograde. And I'm going to give the same message that I did give then. But there are some differences. There's going to be some very strong key differences this year. And there may be some people that just want to tear their hair out and say, oh my goodness, nothing's going my way. For those of you with more awareness, you may become aware of the subtleties within the retrograde and what it's trying to help you not only do, but to finish, conclude, and close the door on it. And January through March, this is going to be a time of testing your abilities to not only get yourself elevated, but to stay elevated. And January through March is going to be um, holding steady time. I'm going to talk about that in more detail. But the Mercury retrograde, the very first part of it, there's going to be Mars energy in there. Now, the Mars energy is masculine energy, but it's the aspect of the masculine that wants to get things done. Um, you have to watch yourself around other people because one of the key differences you're going to see this year is some of you are sharing clean away from the collective. However, your physical human body is still going to be living here amongst the collective. And uh, incidents that you may find yourself in or situations that you may find yourself near, how do you not let it affect you? How do you get detached from it? Because it could be really close to you, really close to home. Some people are in countries where there is still a lot of chaos and instability. It's just that way. And there are countries that have opened up to take in. And, and you know, there's growing pains all around. So the very first thing with this retrograde is being able to shut off, close off properly, not rudely, not avoiding, not doing something that is painful or hurtful. It's doing things from another level. And that's a challenge for some people. You also are doing something which I will say is you also holding for your twin while they go through their own retrograde energies. And they learn how to push off, set their boundaries, not get pushed around. Everybody's lives matter. And we're seeing this more and more and more. You're seeing public figures that are spouting out all their stuff, whether it's their own personal beliefs or they're simply voicing what's out there in the collective mind. You're leaving. You are leaving the collective and you're leaving that behind. Leave the darkness and the density where it naturally lives in 3D. But your body's here. So what do you do about that? So 
that's a lot of what I've been covering over the past year through my videos and through my webinars. So those are very useful tools for you. The elevating, it's not just transcending the karmic chaos, it is staying above the chaos. I know some of you that I've been speaking with, you've been having some really tough karmic holidays where things are raising up and it's like that game at the carnival, the whack-a-mole game where you're just, you know, not get it, you know, back into its little hole. You know, here, oh, that popped out of its head. Oh, that popped up its head. Whoops, there's another one. Got to smack that down. You're going to stop the smackdown and you're going to stop getting smacked down by what feels like the universe. Every time you're like, whoa, a hit keeps on coming, the hits keep on coming. You have to take a step back and pause and breathe with it and really assess within you. What is it actually showing you? Because it will get more subtle. It won't be as easy to discern. Some of you are coming into a level where your love is becoming very magical. And if you're not pointing your wand, you know, some of you have a wand and you want to point it in a certain direction. Get your directional barriers. A lot of people are having their moral compass properly aligned to what is right, what is wrong. What is, you know, what is legal may not be what is moral and right and good, and it may not be the best for everyone. What is illegal is sometimes what is moral. So there's a lot of uh, things that will be adjusting over the next year, and it will get adjusted. So elevating, staying elevated means how do you hold your love bubble? How do you hold the love? And easier said than done. What I can say to you is this. Having lived through quite a bit of it, a lot of it which I have presented and also taught in my webinars, it's a body thing. This is a soul thing. It is your soul connecting to your body and you holding. It's very different. It is not a mental thing. It is not an emotional thing. So... How do you stay above the chaos? That's going to be the key here with this retrograde. Some of the stuff may seem more intense, and yeah, things are still going to be happening out in the world. How do you not let it affect your inner world, the world that you're working so hard for, the inner connections that allow you to create? So it is you also, and this is, this is going to be, a really good thing that happens this year, I've known that it's going to be happening for quite some time, but it's going to be really delightful when people are able to accept themselves and be able to discuss it with others, and it's safe. I talk to a lot of people. Part of the reason that people um, do need to talk to someone is, I'm going to say it right here, you're not crazy. But what I want to let you know is that there are people in isolated areas, maybe in a family, maybe in a situation, maybe in a marriage, maybe in a country, where they have no one to talk to. And this is going to be open up where there will be people that are safe to talk to. There are people that are able to glean the truth. And I'm going to say this right now. Not everyone knows about Twin Flames. Not everyone even cares about Twin Flames. Even some Twin Flames have said, you know what, I just don't care about this anymore. Except that is who you are. So you will find that the caring and the love and the knowledge, the heart knowledge, really comes back. It will come back full force. It always comes back. You can't cut it out. And your multidimensional nature is allowing you to create the inner conditions that allows the divine to flow through you. That's the key here. Your, your love has to express things. This is one of the keys to your abundance right here, is how do you get it? And it's something that I talk about. I touch on it in several webinars, but I'm going to start talking about it this year and the how to create. Let's face it, 
a lot of people know about the law of attraction and you can attract things and sometimes you attract negative things a lot of people have been attracting soulmate after soulmate after soulmate send me the next right man send me the next right man send me the next right woman you'll attract some of the material things that you want and yet what happens you start hitting that glass ceiling it only goes so far if you're a twin flame the law of attraction will only go so far law of attraction works in 3d and 4d it is not getting you to the fifth dimension it is not enabling you to hold your fifth dimensional consciousness it is not enabling you to merge your body parts with your twin you can have what seems like fun with a soulmate you'll hit the wall at some point you gather another soulmate you'll hit the wall at some point there's always going to be a point at which it stops unless you keep reaching higher unless you continue staying steady above the chaos and that means stay away from the madding crowd stay away from the madness that's out in the crowd you you cannot engage insanity there are no rules of engagement stop the name calling stop the blaming stop the mind games stop it especially with your twin flame it's not going to work your twin is the only person in the entire universe that you actually do have a positive or negative influence on your thoughts are things get out of your head get into your heart what are you creating what are you allowing the divine to create through you what are you being the conduit of if you stay in the collective if you stay commiserating if you stay kibitzing or um, I'm gonna use some Yiddish words now plotting your stuff out there you might get some sympathy you might get some attention what you're not going to get is your twin because you're delving into an old way of doing things that's what people do in relationships and they have everybody's head giving them an opinion and what are opinions like everyone's got one it's the rear door that evacuates all of the crud yes it is everyone's got one of those and starts to stink after a while so how do you do this differently this year what is the new year about the new year about is about resolutions a lot of people make resolutions they'll, they'll resolve to go on a diet they'll resolve to exercise and then it goes wah, 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 wah. and a lot of times you're doing the two extremes you're trying to swing your pendulum this way and then you swing it back the other way and you're having trouble finding your middle ground and it's gonna be what is the middle for you and it's gonna be the middle for what is your union where does your union need you to be at because there may be days where you're very 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 good and comes the day where you need you need some ice cream you need some hot fudge sundae you need something you need cake you just need cake just to feel normal you might it happens you might need something else you might need to play what you don't need is more crap from your soulmates because especially if you've met your twin you're not here to vacuum off other people some of you felt that way when you went home to your families some of you have been in your family situation for several months for Americans some of you have been through Thanksgiving through the December holidays and now through New Year's and you're up to here you're up to here it's you're it's a new year and you're tired already why because you do need to hold steady and stay above their chaos other people are going to be configuring things possibly differently than you but definitely you'll find out through this retrograde what do you want and what don't you want use it wisely don't be afraid don't be afraid of retrograde energies do you know what this is this is your turn to wind back the clock and find out exactly what it is that you need to do so that you can finish it okay and if you don't know the universe sends another bus there's always going to be another planet that retrogrades 
your ability to stay above allows you to do different things with it each and every time. And yes, some of you are expected this year to start expressing what it is that you do best through your love, downward and outward, through you and your twin flame. So a couple of the things that I did find then, by the way, I want to let you know it was really warm here in December, just before Christmas. And look, it's all cold now. It's all very, very, very cold. And we've got ice. And we've got uh, just different weather than we had just before the holidays happened. So some of the things that I found on my walks are going to, uh, I'm going to show you what I found. I found some things that are symbols for me that I always take as really good messages. So the weather was so warm, I was seeing earthworms because the weather was actually like April. It was very spring-like. And what are earthworms symbolic of? We are moving the earth little by little, little by little. Everything is moving. The earth moves through us and we transform it. The other thing was um, I saw about six times black horses on things, in something, in a uh, film. And this is indicative of freedom, travel, mobility, rapid movements. And I found this too. This is uh, something that is um, this was uh, just a stupid cup. This was someone's garbage, and yes, I'm going to recycle it. But it says, which team are you on? And it says, Team Red or Team Pink. And to me, when I do my readings, I feel people's color rays, what they are expressing, it's um, been very much red, which is the red is the passion. It's also art, music. So all of you people who have musical twins, artistic twins, if you're artistic, it's your time. And also the pink, the pink of the cosmic heart. So um, it is going to be a good new year this year. It's going to be a great time. Get yourself through this first quarter of the year by holding steady. The first quarter of the year is going to be a lot of your inner, inner, and you come out and blossom out in the spring. Go to your grid points. I went to my grid points. I found actually, unusually for like Michigan, some volcanic rocks. That's very unusual. Usually you find um, sandstone or um, you can find some marble. You can also find something like an agate. But mostly it's sand, sand and shells. So these were very interesting and very much, um, it looked like a, a crystal there at the end. It looked very um, shiny in the light. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week this week. I am available for sessions and readings. Thank you to everyone who bought a session or a reading with me. Thanks for your patience. Thank you for just being here on the path. And hang in here. It's going to be a great year. Bye now.